Good morning. Welcome to In Touch with the Tri-Counties. I'm your host, Steve Perez. Always talking people making a difference in our community. We'll be talking with the Venture Art and Street Painting Festival. We've got a couple people we're going to be talking with. First one is going to be Barbara Hinton. She is the Executive Director of Venture Art and Street Painting Festival. And also Susan Bogue, who's also the Event and Rent Coordinator of the Venture Harbor Village. Well, good morning. Thank you for joining with In Touch with the Tri-Counties. First of all, good morning, Barbara. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Great. Now, tell us a little bit about the festival about what you have going on well um nine years ago i started an event and it's grown and changed and today it's known as the ventura art and street painting festival it takes place september 9th and 10th from 10 to 5 both days and admission is free now you've been doing this what you said nine years nine years and that's been going pretty uh, pretty well then hasn't it the event has grown and it has become increasingly popular we're seeing great crowds uh, there's a lot of excitement about the street painting we are the only street painting festival in ventura county so how How many people do you have doing this? The street painting? Yeah, how many people come out to do this? I will have about 40 out there this year. We're not the largest event, but we are a quality event, and you will see some exciting street painting. Now, do people come locally, or, I mean, are they from all over, or they just want to come and be part of this? Do you mean the the attendees or the artists? The artists. I do have uh, artists from all over Southern California coming, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, Some of them are quite talented and do huge events um, in other parts of the country, and in an evening Canada. So it's a real treat to have some of them here. I bet you get some amazing jobs and some amazing art that's done on that day, right? Spectacular. I mean, breathtaking. And um, this year, I'm delighted to announce that um, an ar- a local Ventura artist, Tracy Stum, uh, will be joining the group of chalk artists. Tracy travels, literally travels the world doing street painting. It, it's She's um, made a career out of it, and, and we can truly call her a world-renowned street painter. Now, is there going to be anybody locally also being part of this as well, doing the art? Yes, um, we have another street painter of world-renowned who travels to uh, festivals all over um, doing art, and that is Rod Tryon. He's a Santa Barbara resident, and he's actually been in the show for, th- this will be his third year, um, and we have Rod's artwork featured on on our marketing pieces this year. Rod is an incredibly talented artist. So you actually have a lot of great people just coming through and doing a lot. Now, is there like an age, what's the youngest? Is there anybody younger who's actually, you've had to do the art that just does some amazing work? She won't be here this year, but there's a young gal named Kim Brake. Um, the first year she came, this had to be six years ago. Oh, longer ago than that. She was uh, about seven or eight years old. Um, her dad's a street painter and they, as I said, they won't be there this year, but um, she, she does incredible work. She'll knock out, like last year she did some Disney piece and it was incredible. So she was probably, what, 16 last year. You actually have, there's only kind of no age limit, just kind of like, or is there? There really isn't. We do have a children's area where young kids, you know, that haven't done this kind of thing before can do something on a two by two foot square. Um, We sell those uh, square spots for $10 and that includes a little box of chalk for the kids. Oh, that's great. So it is pretty much a big family thing then. It is. It's great. I mean, you can go out, have a good time, uh, enjoy it, see a lot of great art. Uh, Is there also going to be anything? else out there besides that that we should know about? Well, the street painting is kind of the superstar because it's so unique and um, I think it's really interesting to watch an artist work. Uh, Most often, artists are tucked away in a studio and in this case, they're out there on the sidewalk and you're watching them and you're thinking, man, it's so hot and the sidewalk's so hard and look at this beautiful piece they're creating. So that's kind of the fascination, I think, because I've seen a lot of street painting the last several years and you, you see these crowds and you're thinking, what brings them out? And I think it's just very simple. It's watching them work so hard on a piece that's going to disappear. And then you kind of wonder the ideas in their head they come up with because sometimes you look at a, a, an art piece and you're going, wow, what were they thinking or how did they come up with that? Especially when they blend the colors together. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've seen so many different types of art. You're like, wow. And of course, it's different because it's you know on the street here. Yes, and, and it, it, it's temporary. You know, there's no permanence to it. They can't sell it. They can't do anything like that. But then I feel like the nice compliment at our festival is having artists showing their work as well. So while the street painters are creating uh, unique works of art on the sidewalks, I've got about 50 artists that are going to be showing their work on the, the lawn at the harbor. 
And so I always like to say is you're watching the creative process, but you're seeing the results of the creative process with the work that the artists are showing. Yeah, I mean, it's a visual. It's not like you can take it home, right? Not the street painting, but you could buy yourself, you know, maybe a little leather purse or a small painting or a photograph while you're there. There you go. Spend some money there, right? Yeah. Bring the cash. Bring the Help kids. Help the artists. There you go. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys do. I mean, you guys do such a great job. Nine years. I mean, you're going to be going for 10 pretty soon. Next year, 10 years. Incredible. Can you believe how fast it's went by? Yes, in some ways and no in others. You know, I don't know. Um, it was just this passionate, this idea that I had and I just kept pursuing it and finally made it happen. And it's changed a lot. The first several years it's changed and obviously grown, but um, it's a labor of love. And so the location of this is happening where? At the Ventura Harbor, the beautiful Ventura Harbor. And it's it's funny, um, it started at a local park um, the first couple of years and we moved over to the harbor and it was the best thing that could have happened to the event because it's a very special location. It's quite beautiful, but also I don't think there's another chalk art event that I know of that takes place right at the water. And the chalk artists love our festival for that reason. The scenery is stunning and they're right there by the docks in the water. Inspire them to even probably do more on their art, right? Well, maybe, but it's just beautiful and inspirational. And it, you know, because it's at the uh, the harbor, it's cooler too. Some of these <laughs> events, you can't believe these artists are chalking in like 85, 90 degree weather on blacktop. And which, of course, Black Chop is, of course, it, it does warm up once the sun <laughs> yes. hits it. And yes. there's no shade, really, either for them, probably, too, right? So ours isn't the biggest chalk festival around, but we're friendly, and it's a very unique, wonderful location. What time do they start working on this? What time do they start uh, hitting the, the concrete, I should well, say? Well, that varies because, you know, these artists are donating their time, the chalk artists, and... Um, I let them roll in whenever they get there. A lot of them are driving from out of town. And, you know, I don't I don't enforce any type of hours. Some some of them by five o'clock they're they're done for the day. They they know they're gonna come back Sunday. Others of them, you know, stay later if they got there later. So um, it just varies. And as long as they can still see what they're doing, they're okay, exactly. right? Exactly. You know, plus there's a lot to do in that area, right? Oh, the harbor has a lot. It offers a lot of things for visitors to do. And in fact, we have Susan Bogue from the harbor here to talk about that. Well, good morning, Susan. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And yourself? I'm doing perfect. So tell us about the harbor. Well, the, at the harbor, this is my fourth year um, with Barbara doing the art festival. And we're really excited to have them back again. We love the crowd and the presence of the the art festival brings to the harbor. In addition to the art festival, we have lots of uh, amenities and things for people to do when they are wandering around. We've got uh, music throughout the day. We have Rock on the Dock, which is is a real fun um, band on a dock out floating in the water that off the shore, which backs up the art festival and gives people music to watch and listen to. We have three art galleries that participate in the event, um, just with their presence. They have they have local artists uh, in their galleries talking about their art and talking about the artists that they know at the festival. Um, we've got the Ventura uh, Harbor Gallery and Gift Shop. We have the Mermaid Gallery, and they often have a, a table outside for kids to draw and color during the art festival. We've got the uh, Ventura County Potters Guild and their wares that um, all get very excited about the art the art lovers that will be visiting us at that day. In addition, we have plenty of dining and restaurants uh, of all types. We've got seafoods, American food, Cuban food, Mexican food, um, plenty for people to eat when they want to go sit down and, and have some food and go back and watch, look at the art some more. So there's plenty to eat, there's plenty to do, you've got art. I mean, it's just like, it sounds like a great day. And it's not only that, it's actually two days. That's a great thing. You can, you know, come back the next day if you'd like, right? It's two days. It's free both days. There's free parking. Um, and as Barbara said, it's right on the water, not only the harbor, but right across the street, you've got the ocean. So um, people are in, in just the perfect environment for having a day outside and enjoying it with their family. Because I know some people probably have really never spent time at the harbor who live here locally who are probably thinking wow i've never really gone there and explored seriously i i know some people i ran into and said 
really? There's something to do over there? <laughs> but oh. they, they don't know enough because, again, <laughs> they're from the county. They have ne- they see the beach and as far as they go. You got to go a little bit further up from the beach. And there you go. Well, you know, the harbor is a, a being a harbor. It, it's uh, blocked off from the ocean. And uh, there's one way in and one way out. And, and uh, it's really a, a local treasure in Ventura. And things like the art festival and the events that we do at the harbor, are, our goal is to bring people there and let them see what's going on and hope that they come back. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Especially, you know, maybe next time they may plan a vacation a little bit during that summertime. I mean, it's great to be out here. You know, I know we travel to different places, but there's one thing about being here in Ventura County. Um, it's home. But not only that, we have something that we should enjoy, which is the beach, which is the harbor. There's so many things going on. It's just amazing to be out here. It's a nice place. It's a great place. And we like people from the local, from Ventura. We want them to come down as often as they can. And we also invite people from the surrounding areas and bring your guests. Yeah, because again, like I say, bring your family, bring members who have never been there before. It's a great place. Like I say, great walk path too. It's a great walk path. And like I say, there's food and everything just to do there. And there's boats. You can rent boats, Get it, go out on a cruise. They have those paddle boats. I remember about three or four years ago, at one point, I looked around and I saw several artists on these little paddle boats that they'd rented. So they were having a good time. And how long have you been with the harbor? How long have you been helping out there or working with it, I should say? I've been working at the harbor for four years in the marketing department, working on the events and, and film crews that want to come do filming at the beach. Oh, um, we wow. invite them all and, and bring as many people up as we can to do whatever they want. Me, maybe it's just me, but I actually I've noticed more and more people actually going to the harbor now than I did before. You know, I, I do try to make you know a couple times out there a month just to go out there and you know see the food. Oh, of course, you I mean I love food, <laughs> but just to try to get out there as much as you can. It definitely has increased over the past four years since I've been there. I've seen a marked increase in in people coming to the harbor. It seems like it's getting known. It, people are finding out that there's stuff going on, and and that's our job is to get that word out. And and uh, Jennifer Talt London, who's the marketing manager, does a great job at that, letting people know what's going on in the harbor. Do you guys have like a newsletter or anything that people could actually maybe be a part of to let them know upcoming events at the harbor? Is that possible? It's absolutely possible. We have an e newsletter letter that goes out monthly. We have a a print uh, harbor newsletter that goes out um, monthly also. And uh, we welcome anybody's, we want email addresses. We collect them at all the events and people are able to fill them out and able to, they send us an email. We're on social marketing where we have Facebook and we, we do Instagram so people can contact us in many different ways. Yeah, because I'm sure a lot of people do take pictures and that would be great for them to take pictures. And of course, you know, share the pictures with you on, you know, what their what their excitement was of being at the harbor. Absolutely. And they can send any pictures to us at, uh, at Ventura Harbor Facebook, All right. VenturaHarborVillage.com. All right. Perfect. There you go. There's the email. I'm sure to the website. Facebook, make sure if you have pictures, if you, if you know, sometimes people just take pictures and would love to share them with everybody. And that's, and also check in on Facebook and other places which you go there too as well because you want to let people know where you're at it's a great place to be and that's what I do in a lot of places I try to check in to let people know if they've never been there before they've got to try it so Barbara tell us what's a little bit unique about the street painting festival well one aspect I haven't talked about before is that this is a fundraiser Um, We have some wonderful sponsors, so many uh, companies and some individuals in the uh, area. It's it's sort of countywide, have uh, donated funds to help us put this event on. We are actually benefiting Food Share this year. And so uh, proceeds will benefit Food Share and Food Share will have a booth at the event. So if people want to donate some food, they can drop it off at their booth. Um, They usually do an activity. Last year, they did an activity for children at their booth. Um, So they're there to meet and greet and kids can do an activity and uh, they have a presence there. They have a booth there at the festival. So come on out and say hi to the folks at Food Share. They do a lot of good work in this county. No, they do. They do a, a great work in this county. That's all I got to say. They're pretty much every year, no matter what, they're always there when you need them. Also, any organizers, sponsors who are actually are backing you guys up or helping you? Yes, we are very grateful to our sponsors. And there really are too many to um, to talk about, you know, in this short interview. But I do want to uh, say particularly thank you to Counterpoint Mutual Funds and RH Wealth Advisors. Anna Kappa Insurance has been very generous for several years. John Ashkar, thank you. Um, 
Crown Plaza has been so good to us for several years. Dyer Sheehan, a local company, Dole Packaged Foods, and uh, First Trust and finally Mission Avocado, another Ventura County company. So we're so appreciative for the support. Um, obviously, we couldn't do it without our sponsors. So as you're walking along looking at the street paintings, you're going to see some signage over those uh, paintings, and those are our sponsors. I know you're a nonprofit organization. Now, let's say somebody, well, I'd like to help out. What could they do if they wanted to actually maybe help you guys out, maybe financially, maybe give you a check, or maybe, you know, donate some money? Is there possible? For yes, anybody yes, can they do could that? do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. No, they could. Um, or, you know, like I said, Food Share will have a booth there, and um, you could make a direct contribution to them, too. So that way we'll just be the conduit to somebody doing that. Um, like I said, they had a little uh, activity for children last year, and I, they were just charging a couple dollars, but that was another way they were raising some funds. So they're a great partner, really fun to work with. Now, where can people get a little bit of a flavor of the art festival? Where could they go to see pictures or anything like that? I think the best place for people to go is uh, our Facebook page, Ventura Art and Street Painting Festival. I've been keeping a lot of art on it lately. It's updated. You'll see art from... Uh, some street painters that won't be at the festival, but um, currently the last oh, two weeks or so, I'm posting photos of art that some of our street painters have done previously. Uh, a lot of photos from last year. So if you were there last year, you might reminisce about what you saw and you'll see, you know, sort of some ideas about what you're going to see at the festival. Some incredible art. That's great. Now, again, let's recap a little bit. The day of the festival, what days are they again? September 9th and 10th from 10 to 5, and usually you'll see some people around after 5, um, but uh, 10 to 5, free admission, free parking. There you go. Come on out. I hear the word free, and I'm there. <laughs> free Woo-hoo. admission, free parking, uh, you know. It's a very unique event, and it's a beautiful, incredible location, so, you know, it's a wonderful weekend, or, you know, at least a weekend day. Yeah, I mean, if you're not having anything to do on a what on a Saturday or a Sunday, you've got two days. If you can't make it on one day, you can make it on the next day, right? Yes, and and the harbor even leaves the paintings up. Um, if you can't make it that during the weekend, come out Monday. There's not as many people around, and you can really walk around and look at the art because they keep it up. Well, how long do they keep the art up for? If we want, I mean, how long can we? Like I say, if we have to be somewhere, how long? How long is usually up? It's up as long as it lasts, generally, Um, and I've seen many of the pieces last for a couple of weeks, two, three weeks. If if there's uh, if it's a particularly dry period, they can last for quite some time. Um, They're in a location; people are pretty respectful. They don't get walked on too much. You see a lot of people jumping off of them when they notice that they're walking on them. But uh, some of the pieces um, last quite some time. Some go away quickly. So it's a it's kind of a crapshoot. You know, you go out there and what you see is what's left, and it's fun. How long do you think? I mean, for, is it like maybe yards, a mile, or just? I mean, how long of all of it's together? I mean, how long do you think it is of art from from one row to the next row? I'd say a football field. Really? Like, yeah. That's yeah. a good amount. That's yeah. a good. That's yeah. a good walking distance just to look down so and see all the art. It's on the promenade along the harbor. You know, you walk along the harbor, you get the boats on one side, and you've got the art on the ground on the other side. Pretty so it's nice. A pleasure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. And I'm sure people like you know when they see something you know unique. Of course, they break out their phone on their camera and, and take a picture or you know even a selfie you know <laughs> people do selfies. those as well lots of selfies you know and you can get you can get the uh, uh some some of the artwork and a, a picture of a beautiful sunset all in one picture oh i bet you that sunset would be over the ocean. amazing so so we get we get a lot of those sent to us oh nice and, that is and nice posted. yeah i can yeah. say you know like when you're there you take pictures and you just like i say i was just curious how long it is that's a long football field mm-hmm. Maybe it'll be longer this year. Maybe about a mile. We'll see. <laughs> so, Barbara, tell yeah. us a little bit about some of the art that we'll be able to see there, some of the styles, unique, that's different from everybody else. Well, you know, each artist is unique, and um, some of the artists um, excel at doing um, really photorealistic faces. Um, a face is always fascinating to viewers, and uh, we have one artist, Willie Zinn, who comes up from the Long Beach area. And he he does incredible faces. I I often see people just sort of mesmerized. Um, Last year, he drew an image of Willy Wonka. And Gene Wilder had just died. And it was almost like a spiritual experience watching people look at that face. And I think a lot of people were moved by it. And in fact, the local newspaper chose to uh, show that photograph, the photograph of Gene Wilder uh, in the paper. 
because there was something just so compelling about it. Other artists like to do more whimsical, fun things, colorful, um, playful, uh, cartoon-like. Um, of course, we always have some mermaids because they're inspired by the ocean. Um, and then, you know, there's the folks that do 3D. Uh, Rod Tryon at a Santa Barbara, an exceptional artist. Uh, I think he's been doing street painting for only 30 years. Um, he he usually does a, a 3D piece, and they're they're pretty immaculately wonderful. Um, I suspect Tracy Stum might do a 3D piece. Th those types of pieces seem to wow people because they just can't imagine, you know, uh, putting that together like they do. Um, but there's just such a wonderful range. Um, and I don't really know all the pieces. Uh, some of those artists still owe me um, images of what they plan to draw. What's been, so, your, what's been your favorite one through all the nine oh. years that you've seen? Like, I mean, do you have one of the top ones? Okay, give me maybe top five, top four. Oh. I mean, something to just, just today you just keep remembering on that piece. Oh, this is so unfair because <laughs> I know so many of these artists now. Um, oh, I just don't know if I can do it. Uh, Willy Wonka was pretty profound. And the first time I really saw people really engaging with the piece was the Robin Williams one I mentioned earlier. Um, both of, in both those cases, those people had just died. And so it was just sort of powerful. Um, I just, I just can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sorry. There've been, there've been some great things and you will be amazed and dazzled at the things you see September 9th and 10th at the Ventura Art and Street Painting Festival. So you have to just come on down and see for yourself. Yeah, because it's going to be different. Every year is not the Every same. Every year. Every year is different. You don't see the same as you, as you would any place else. It's different. So you're kind of wondering what's behind and what they're going to be doing. I know a lot of the street painters now after all these years. And... Um, I go to several different events every year, and it's never the same. They are always changing it up, you know, because they they want to be engaged with the piece they're creating. Um, but there's also going to be a lot of art to look at on the lawn there, and um, you'll see some wonderful things. I've got some guys that make original leather pieces. Of course, there's painters, photography, um, some interesting uh, ceramic work. Uh, so check it out. And it's a marketplace great, right on the lawn. Great. And uh, there's going to be other booths there as well, all around that whole area too. You know, I always get those requests, but I'm keeping this as strictly an art festival. So the booths, with the exception of the food share booth, um, you'll see art, art, and more art. When when you can't, well, that's great because you'll definitely be seeing that on that day. Yep, and you'll see some jewelry too. And as those people are making the jewelry, so we consider that it's fine arts and fine crafts. That actually sounds really good all together. Yeah. So, come on out. Like Mima. All right, Barbara. So, one more time. Let's go ahead. Date, time, what's going on? Ventura Art and Street Painting Festival, September 9th and 10th, 10 to 5 both days. Admission is free. The event takes place at the beautiful Ventura Harbor Village. Uh, art on the sidewalks, art on the grass. There's plenty of restaurants, plenty of things to do. And guess what? Parking is free. Nice. So, complimentary parking. Um, visitors from the Pierpont area and uh, maybe from downtown might want to take the free trolley that they can catch downtown. There's more information, I'm sure, on the city's website about that. And, uh, oh, by the way, the event's actually dog-friendly, but they must be on leashes, please. And uh, for more information, you can check out VenturaArtFestival.com, our uh, website, or the Facebook page with up-to-date photos, Ventura Art Festival on Facebook. Perfect. There you go. Find pictures, find information. And again, it's a family event. It's going to be fun. Bring the kids out. They can actually have some fun um, as well, right? Absolutely. That's perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Well, Barbara, thank you for coming today. I do appreciate that as well, of course. Susan, thank you for coming as well. Thank you for having me. And I appreciate that. I'm going to spend more time at the harbor. And I'm actually going to try to make this event. You've made me Fun. really encouraged to really see some of these art on, on, you know, it's because it's like, wow, I've never seen this before. And I'm really, really now more interested than now because before when you guys came in, I was like, wow, okay. You <laughs> kind of got me inspired now. Awesome. When, when, when you told me we'll about the free there. parking and when you told me about the uh, free admission. But I've also got to check out some of the great restaurants over at at the harbor as well you've told me quite a few different restaurants that are there and i think kind of one of my favorites i've got to try is i've never tried it is the cuban i've never really tried any of that it's food. pretty new 
It is. Come join us. I'm definitely going to have to do that for sure. Well, thank you for coming. With, uh, in Thanks touch for with, having us over. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming for In Touch with the Tri-Counties. Of course, you guys are doing a great job in the community. Keep up what you guys are doing. And again, if you want to help support them, please go on out there and, of course, give them your support as much as you can. I'm Steve Perez with In Touch with the Tri-Counties.